Week number nine of the regular season between the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. No intro for this one. We're going to get straight into the game. We will have another intro for week number 10 next week. But of course, the Saints come into this game with a record of 6-2, and two, taking on the 3-4 and four Falcons. And you don't want to get ahead of yourselves, but next week's the game we've got to have circled on our schedule for a very long time. Week number 10, Saints versus Ravens. The matchup, of course, of the rematch, I guess I should say, of the last two Super Bowls. And after that, we also have a date scheduled with the San Francisco 49ers. So two huge games coming up for the New Orleans Saints, but no game is given in the NFL, especially with the Saints team, who was coming off a 45-37 to loss last week at home against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You're never going to get a boring game with the Saints, and hopefully this one will excite against the Falcons. Here is the cock commander Spencer Rattler who will be drawing the start in real life this week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers If you want to see my predictions to that game Make sure to go check our week number six NFL predictions video out here on the channel as well We start things off with a Spencer Rattler interception Trying to feed Mike Evans on the seam route that ball is picked by the former Saint Jeremy Chin playing for his third NFC South team Chin with the interception against his former team giving his current team, the Atlanta Falcons, the football. And here is Michael Penix Jr., the former Washington Husky, comes out with 14 touchdowns, four interceptions, and 1,850 yards so far this season. Penix has got it from the 36-yard line. He fires over the middle for a first down completion to Jamison Williams. Actually, he's short, third and inches handoff. B. John Robinson, he gets pushed back. The Saints defense gets a stop, and they force Atlanta to kick a 44-yard field goal. It could have been worse to start off for New Orleans. Down by three. Here comes Spencer Rattler on a first and ten. Finding Jackson Smith in Jigba down to the 37-yard line to move the six here for New Orleans. Bringing up now a third and seven from the 34. Rattler dropping back, looking to throw. Quick out route to Kendra Miller. And Miller has got first down yardage and 12 yards out of the backfield. So now a first and ten for New Orleans. From the 22, Xander Horvath, the fullback in motion. And here comes Kendra Miller. Of course, has struggled as of late. Miller trying to get going early tonight, setting up for a second goal from the five. Rattler finds Mike Evans, but he's a yard short. Third and goal, New Orleans from the one yard line. Rattler handoff, Kendra Miller, he's in. He gets obliterated once he gets in the end zone, but New Orleans takes a 7-3 lead thanks to that Kendra Miller one-yard rushing touchdown as Cameron Dicker is going to boot it deep here for New Orleans. Here comes Atlanta on the return and a huge fumble and a recovery by the Saints. New Orleans has it from the 30-yard line. First and 10, Rattler looking over the middle there is Mike Evans on the crossing route. Evans picks up nine for a second and one. Rattler in the I-form handoff. Kendra Miller, first down. Saints again to the 16, bringing up a first and 10 for New Orleans. Rattler out the gun, looking, still looking. He will fumble. That ball's picked up by Atlanta, and nobody's going to tackle him. Oh, my goodness. The Saints were threatening from the 16-yard line, and instead, Spencer Rattler fumbles. It's picked up by the Falcons, and it's a scoop and score touchdown for Atlanta, giving them a 10-7 lead. So a lot has just happened, but we're still in the first quarter. Third and 12, Spencer Rattler being pressured, going to his right to JSN. That ball's picked off. It's just not ideally where you want to put that football. Just kind of hung it up there. AJ Terrell on the interception. And the New Orleans Saints have already turned the football over. Actually, Spencer Rattler has turned the ball over three times already. Not ideal. Atlanta gets the football back up by three points. From their own 49-yard line, Michael Penix out the gun looking to throw. Penix to his left, swings it to B. John Robinson. Robinson gets hit by Demario Davis, but he holds onto the football down to the New Orleans 38-yard line. First and 10, Penix dropping back, looking to throw to his right. Ball is caught. Kyle Pitts gonna be close to the first down marker. Doesn't get it. Second and inches for this Atlanta offense. Penix gonna throw to his right. Oh, I thought we should have had that Kool-Aid. Instead, Drake London kind of mosses him on that catch. First and 15 after a false start for Atlanta and Michael Penix gonna continue to go backwards on the sack. It'll be a second and 18 when we come out of break. Atlanta threatening to put more points on the board as they are up by three at 10 to seven. 
So here's the second and 18 for the Falcons offense. Penix out the gun looking to throw. Michael Penix now going to step up and run, and he will slide down at the 12 yard line. So he'll get some of the yardage back, setting up for a third and 11. Michael Penix in the pocket, and he will simply just throw that ball out. Atlanta will attempt another field goal to try to go up by six points, but Caleb Farley blocks it. Huge blocked field goal by the Saints. The Falcons get nothing, and Atlanta takes over from the 25-yard line. Big time play right there by the Saints special teams unit as here comes the offense back with the football. Kendra Miller rushes for a first down to the 35 yard line. First and 10 New Orleans. Rattler out the gun to his left. Finally finds Chris Olave for the first time tonight. Got to get that guy always involved in this offense. First and 10 from the 45. Rattler sends Miller in motion looking to throw. Scrambling to his left. Spencer Rattler. Oh my goodness. Another bad throw. That's just... Uh, it's just a poor decision with the football. It is Spencer Rattler's fourth turnover of the game and his third interception. And the Atlanta Falcons are in a great spot in this football game. Again, Rattler with four turnovers and we haven't even hit halftime yet. Yikes. So here comes a third and five for the Falcons and a huge play and a huge sack by Granderson to set down Michael Penix. New Orleans back with the football from their own 26 yard line. Here comes a boot by Spencer Rattler looking to his right. He finds Chris Olave for the first down to the 47 yard line. First and 10 New Orleans. Rattler again play action looking to throw. Just got to be careful with the football. Get it to Kendra Miller. Miller with the juke stays on his feet. Look at the run after the catch for Kendra Miller. What a play by Miller to get the Saints down to the 42 yard line. First and 10 New Orleans handoff. Here's the other back, Jerome Ford, who has been better as of late. But of course, we are still giving the start tonight for Kendra Miller. Here is Miller on a third and one. He will pick up the first down to the Atlanta 30 yard line. Here comes now a second and five from the 24. Handoff Miller again, breaking all of these tackles. As long as he doesn't fumble the football again, the guy is a good football player for us. Here comes a first and 10. Rattler looking to his left. Jerome Ford has got it. And Jerome Ford is in touchdown saints as they go up 14 to 10 here in the second quarter a risky ball by spencer rattler but it, you know it wouldn't be spencer rattler in madden 25 if he wasn't throwing risky footballs we will take it new orleans up by 4 14 to 10 michael Penix now with it from his own 29 yard line he'll step up i don't know why he's stepping up and running right into harrison phillips but we'll take it. It's now a second and 15 for Atlanta coming up the two minute warning from the 24 yard line. Penix to his left. That ball is caught. Jamison Williams. I mean, he should be a saint right now, but you know, it's fine. Jamison Williams using his speed to get all the way down to the 28 yard line. Second and 10 for Atlanta from that 28. Penix dropping back, looking to throw over the middle ball is caught. Drake London first down Atlanta, just like that. They are now within the 10 yard line for a first and goal. Michael Penix Jr. dropping back in the pocket to his left ball is caught Kyle Pitts short of the end zone as he's down to the two yard line for a second and goal. 53 seconds left to play in the half. Michael Penix got blocking. Yeah, he's just going to step up and run. Touchdown Atlanta. They go up 17 to 14 here with 30 seconds left to play in this first half. And of course the Saints, you know, are going to try to push the ball downfield. So here we are from our, our own 40 yard line. Third and 10, Rattler steps up and he is brought down after only a gain of three. Fourth and seven, we're going for it. Uh, yeah, it might be a little risky, but Rattler to his right to Jerome Ford already gets the first down. We don't have to talk about the risk anymore because the drive continues. Let's put that in the past. That was I don't know if I felt the greatest about that play calling, but it's fine. We get the ball still from the 45 yard line. Rattler steps up, threads it into JSN, and now boom, we are in field goal range. So a first and 10, a second and 10 from the 34 yard line. Spencer Rattler in the pocket looking to throw. He'll dump it off to Kendra Miller. Miller with a juke move, and Miller goes down at the 20 yard line. First and 10 for the Saints, obviously with three seconds left. Cameron Dicker comes out for a 37 yard field goal and Dicker, the kicker, hits it. So 17 to 17 is our score. We are tied here at the end of the first half and we'll take it. Again, very evenly matched half and for turning the ball over four times in the first half, I really don't care that the score is tied. 17-17, let's not turn the ball over in the second half. 
First and 10 for Atlanta from their own 25 yard line. Michael Penix Jr. dropping back. You'll look over the middle, Drake London with the catch and no one can tackle Drake London. He is gone. Okay, Kool-Aid McKinstry will bring him down at the 23 yard line, but a great run right there by Drake London to get Atlanta down to the 17 yard line. Here comes Kyle Pitts to the outside. He is down at the four. It is now a second and goal from the four yard line for Michael Penix Jr. out the gun, looking, stepping up, and he is in again. It's Michael Michael Penix's second rushing touchdown of the night and the Atlanta Falcons have retaken the lead all right 24 to 17 is now our score here comes a second and 14 for Spencer Rattler to Dalvin Crosby but that ball falls incomplete it's a third and 14 now for the Saints offense from the 20 Rattler finds Chris Olave on the check down and he gets it Hey, we'll take it. That's kind of our go-to on third and long. Just have the drag underneath and let our guy run with the football. And of course, it's usually Olave. Third and 13 for New Orleans, though, from the 38-yard line. Spencer Rattler looks over the top to Mike Evans. That ball's incomplete. And after converting on that last third and long, New Orleans will have to punt. Atlanta back with the football from their own 15-yard line. Michael Penix Jr. dropping back. Harrison Phillips with sack number two tonight. The fourth that the Saints have gotten so far. Backing Atlanta up to a second and 20. Handoff B. John Robinson, Darnell Savage, with the hit sets up for a third and 12 from the 13 yard line Michael Penix Jr. gonna look to his left quick hitter he will find his receiver but of course nowhere near the first down is Atlanta and Donovan Peoples-Jones as the Saints get the ball back with tremendous field position from the 49 yard line there is Kendra Miller 12 carries for 51 yards so far tonight for him third and eight Spencer Rattler looking to scramble nowhere to go with the ball and he's sacked out of bounds it's gonna force New Orleans to punt. So here comes Tommy Townsend, the former Kansas City Chief on this one. And there's gonna be a huge hit and the ball's out and it's picked up by Sewell and the Saints. New Orleans gets the football right back and they have it at the eight yard line, third and four. Spencer Rattler sacked, wow. We cannot catch a damn break. That's crazy. Uh, we're gonna have to keep the field goal. Cameron Dicker comes out for a 27 yard field goal and of course he will hit it. But now New Orleans is still down by four and a huge stop for the Atlanta defense. The Falcons now here on this kick return. Of course, Dicker sends it deep and there is going to be a very good return for the Falcons. Still on his feet, Jerome Ford has to make the tackle at the 43-yard line. But the Falcons have been set up really well going into this fourth quarter in a game which they are up by four points. 24 to 20 is our score in favor of the Atlanta Falcons threatening here against the Saints team to hand New Orleans their third loss. So here are the Falcons from the 43-yard line. Michael Penix on a play-action fake looking to throw. B is sacked and brought down immediately. So if you can take anything away from this game, it's that the New Orleans defense has definitely stepped up and they are getting pressure to the quarterback. Third and 22, B. John Robinson's run after the catch is going to get Atlanta into field goal range. A 56-yarder here from the left hash. It is up and it is wide right. There is a flag. Oh my goodness, there's a flag down though. Did we, did we hit the kicker? Yeah, we did. Oh my goodness. You can't have it. You can't have it. Caleb Farley did block one earlier, but this time a crucial roughing the kicker on a missed field goal and on a huge attempt. Sends it back, but now New Orleans gets the ball right back on an interception. Max Melton with the pick. The former Arizona Cardinal picks off Michael Penix, and that's exactly what the Saints needed. So New Orleans back with the football from their own 32 yard line. Spencer Rattler out the gun looking to throw and he's being pressured and he fumbles again. Fuaga picks it up, the fumble he does. So now it's a second and 27 from the Saints own 14 yard line. Rattler looks to his left to Nikhil Harry. Harry is going to get some of that yardage back setting up for a third and 10. So right back to where we started. Huge play for this offense. Third and 10 from the 32. Rattler looking, he's sacked. He fumbles again, we'll pick it up again. But my goodness, how many times is Spencer Rattler gonna put the football on the ground? Atlanta back with the ball after a punt. Four minutes to go. New Orleans in desperate need of a stop. There is Drake London to the 36-yard line. Third and eight from the 34. New Orleans needs to get off the field. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Christian Gonzalez with the interception. Gonzalez gets New Orleans the ball back. It limits Atlanta from putting any points on the board. That's absolutely huge for the Saints. They'll have it now from the 46-yard line. Spencer Rattler looking. He dumps it off to Dalvin Crosby. 
Crosby's brought down at the 42 yard line and here comes now a second and 10 from that 42 Rattler looking to throw stepping up he will take off Rattler will slide down setting up for a third and one from the 33 Rattler out the gun handoff Jerome Ford got it and more Ford to the outside great block by Mike Evans and Ford gets in it's a 33 yard touchdown for the New Orleans Saints Spencer Rattler leads him downfield. Ford caps it off with a rushing touchdown. There are 96 seconds left to play in this game. Can New Orleans get a stop? A minute 26 to go. Oh, Michael Penix finds Drake London to the 47 yard line. First and 10 Atlanta, Penix dropping back to his left. Ball is caught. And that's gonna be about a pickup of nine, setting up for a second and one for Atlanta. Here comes Penix looking to his right. That ball's caught, Jamison Williams. Just a really good ball right there by Michael Penix. Nothing else we can say. Second and four for Atlanta. Penix from the 19, looking, sitting in the pocket. Now scrambling, he's sacked. Third and seven from the 22 yard line. It would be huge for New Orleans to get a stop here. So there's still time on the clock in this fourth quarter. Penix takes a shot to the end zone. He overthrows everybody. Okay. Atlanta comes out for yet another field goal from 39 yards out. The kick is up and it is good. So we are tied at 27 to 27 with 28 seconds to go. Can the Saints get in Cameron Dicker's range? There's a great start. Chris Olave is out of bounds at the 42. It's a 59 yarder from here. But one more big play will get us into Dicker's range and that will do it. Dicker is in range, but we got 15 seconds and two timeouts. We can take some conservative shots like this. Rattler on the crossing route. JSN, he's in. That's the dagger. Rattler to Smith and Jigba. And the Saints go up by seven with 10 seconds to go. A gutsy performance by Spencer Rattler. He bounces back after throwing three interceptions in the first half. But it looks like the New Orleans Saints are going to win this game at home against the Atlanta Falcons, barring it some miracle play here by Atlanta and Michael Penix. Penix going to scramble to his left. I guess he's going to run. Oh, Max Melton missed that tackle. And okay, yeah, don't run next to Jerome Baker. You're going to get flatlined. And that's exactly what happens. The New Orleans Saints win this game at home here at the Superdome. They move their regular season record now to seven wins and to two losses. The Falcons now three and five. And it's a game the Saints really wanted to have. And now all their attention goes on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens, the back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions who are seven and one to start the year. That is the biggest game of the year so far for New Orleans. And we've got a huge stretch. Not only do we have the Ravens coming up, We've got the San Francisco 49ers in two weeks as well. So two huge games for New Orleans. But of course, it starts next week with that matchup against Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. So folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 55 of the New Orleans Saints franchise mode here on Madden 25. If you haven't yet, though, make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure you like if you are enjoying the series so far. Again, folks, thank y'all for watching and Mamba forever.